Are you serious? Are you serious breaking news? First of all, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just pulled those videos down. I was at Best Buy trying out a new camera. I didn't buy it. It was a, a, a mini, iPad mini. And the guy told me, I said, what's the difference between this and an iPad? And he says, oh, they're about the same, except it's a little smaller and a better HD quality camera. And so I was playing with it and testing it. And then I, he, I said, well, how do I know if it's any better? He goes, well, put it up on your YouTube video. And then when you get home, you can compare them. So I did. I put it up on my YouTube channel. And I even put on there um, uh, Best Buy Test, I think I put on there. And then, but there was a second one. Apparently, after I walked away from the camera, because my wife texted me to come pick her up from, um, she was getting a new pair of glasses. She said, I'm ready, come get me at Lens Crafters. So I said, okay, I, I'm not going to buy it today. He kept pushing her. I said, no, no, no I'm not going to buy it. I just want to tell, I just want to know the difference. So I left. And apparently, he must have went ahead and uploaded the second five second video and put the word help. I didn't even know anything about the word help. So sounds like uh, the sales clerk at uh, Best Buy's messing with me a little bit, and so I'll go back in on him. We, we're gonna have a little conversation. But anyway, while I'm here, just so you guys know, problems. While I'm here, though, a couple things. I just got an email from um, uh, Gertie, who's telling me that uh, that that Valerie has just been. Uh, blocked off Facebook for two days because she was posting too much about God. What? Is that serious? Is that possible? That apparently she's been given a two-day block from Facebook for posting too much or saying too much about God. I, I, I don't understand that. I didn't even know if that was possible. It, that can't be, right? Anyway, um... We're going to look into that. Meanwhile, we do have an earthquake. 6.9. A mega quake has just hit Japan. Um, I'm not sure how long ago, so let me just look here and see. At least 10 people have been injured on a 6.9 magnitude earthquake hit the coast of uh, Japan. The authorities are assessing the extent of the material damage. Two nuclear power plants are in the affected area. Oh my lord, not again. Some of the victims were taken to hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. Traffic movement on several main railway lines and highways were halted as a result of the quake. The quake that occurred at 11.17 p.m. was marked um, 5 upper at JIMA seismic intensity in several places. Now, 11.17 p.m., that's Japan time, so I don't know what time that was here. That had to be around 1 o'clock, maybe? I'm just off the top of my head, I'm not sure. But there has been an earthquake today, February 3rd, February 2nd, excuse me, February 2nd, 2012, 13. Do I know what day it is? Febu it's, it's Groundhog's Day. Okay. February 2nd, 2013, there has been a mega quake that has hit Japan, 6.9. So there's a lot of things going on this past week in biblical prophecy. Think about it. All kinds of earthquakes going on in the ring of fire. You had a 6.7, 6.8 in Chile. You had a couple 6.0s in uh, Indonesia and in the uh, Santa Cruz Islands, a 6.0 in Alaska, a 5.3 in Oregon. Now we have a 6.9 in Japan. We have the super volcano in Italy waking up. We have um, Israel attacking a Syrian convoy with, weapon, with Russian weapons that were being trying to be smuggled into Lebanon. We have Israel attacking a chemical weapons facility that was guarded by 3,000 Iranian Revolutionary Guard, and inside the facility, it had, they were making chemical weapons, they hit it with eight missiles and one bunker-busting bomb, we know there was at least two North Korean scientists in it, two Russian scientists, and some Iranian scientists, are you serious, Russia launched 
a, a, a scrambled a MiG-31 fighter jet headed it toward Israel over top the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula. And Israel fired a warning shot and said, you better not cross our airspace. So the Russian MiG veered left over Lebanon. What? Israel is being threatened now by Syria and Iran for retaliation. And Russia is condemning them and is very upset. And Mohammed Mercy's got an uprising going on in Egypt. Are you serious? We do have some good news. And that is John Kerry is upset and is challenging the Iranians to let the American pastor, Christian pastor, to turn him loose from prison. He is an American. And also good news that John Kerry, who's going to soon be our new Secretary of State, is planning a trip to Israel. His first trip will be to Israel. Well, it's about time somebody goes. Lord knows President Barack Obama hasn't stepped foot in his entire presidency, and I doubt he ever will. Something biblical is going on. But pray right now for the people of Japan as we're getting more information coming out right now. And Pastor Begley's fine. I was just testing a new camera at Best Buy. I don't mind that little test I did because I was going to come home and check and compare the quality. What I didn't like was that this guy put... It had to be been him. It had to be been him, right? It had to be him that he took that second one and uh, typed on there, help, whatever. Anyway, we're fine. It's all fine. But pray for Japan. God bless you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. It's time to get saved. It's time to get saved. In Jesus' name.